Good morning, traders. My name is Frank Chowley. I'm a senior commodities broker with RJO Futures, and I'm coming to you today from the CME floor with an outlook on the grain markets. Now, starting about two weeks ago, on March 28th, when the USDA released its uh, planting intentions and its quarterly grain stocks, the markets all went through a big downside correction, led lower by the corn. That's where we got the biggest surprise, where we saw the um, big jump in stocks. Now the markets the past few days have gone through a bit of a rebound. I don't believe that this is uh, just a dead cap bounce or a little bit of back and fill action. What I see here is a market that quickly became oversold. It was a knee jerk reaction. We still have historically low supplies. So the market needs to build some of that premium back in on the tightness. We, uh, we do have a tight supply and it needs to hold us over until the new crop is out of the ground. I also would expect that we start to build some weather premium in. Now, we're, we're off to a little bit later start. Last year it was a very early start. We we're looking for a bumper crop. And it wasn't until the middle of June that traders realized we're in a drought and we're not gonna get that bumper crop. So what I, I see here is that we need to build some weather premium into the new crop. We uh, have the old crop being supported by the tight supply and the idea that it needs to last us for the next three or four months. So. I see grain prices starting to move higher. We have a big gap in the upside of the corn there that needs to get covered. Corn market's very good at covering gaps, so I'd be surprised if um, the market goes back down and tests the recent swing lows in the grains. I think they all move higher. Um, wheat, corn spread, that's a trade that I've uh, really kept a close eye on. I would suggest that you watch that one closely for a while there. In March, we we're seeing corn trade a premium to wheat. That's very unusual. And under the circumstances now that we see a uh, better supply of corn, it's uh, to a more normal level. It went from, in the May contract, negative 10, negative 12, all the way up to a positive 80. Wheat, 80 cents over corn. A Little bit of uh, correction recently, it's closer to 40 cents right now. But I find that to be a very compelling trade, one that I think you should keep an eye on. And there's a lot more to talk about here, but I'm short on time today. Feel free, shoot me an email, give me a call. My number is 800-826-4124. And as always, remember that trading commodity futures does involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone. Thank you.